and welcome back to the hot lab where we had a last lap decider for the Indy 500. If you thought Monaco didn't, well, after the uh, first lap that was restarted, if you thought Monaco was a bit boring, well, watch the Indy 500 is all I can say. What an absolutely mega day of motorsport though with Charles Leclerc winning at Monaco and this man right here, Joseph Newgarden, last lap, last corner, destroying, I think destroying the soul seemingly, seemingly of poor Pato O'Ward when he looked, he was just absolutely nuked at the end, face down in his car, inconsolable, and I felt really sorry for him, I was thinking McLaren are looking good here, we're going to have an Aaron McLaren victory, but New Garden stopped that, I was even starting to go through the potential thumbnails, but again, New Garden stopped that, so one of the biggest stories, though, before the race was the rain. So, yeah, yeah, as I mentioned, we're kind of used to it in the UK. But down at Indy, in May, towards the end of May, it's kind of summer, pretty much. And it was anything but for the first few hours. But it was finally, it finally got the green flag, the green lights. And Joseph at Newgarden, he joined the Immortals by becoming the only, the sixth driver to win in two consecutive years. As I said, edging Pato Ward on that last lap. Wow. Um, the race, incidentally, was delayed by four hours. So Newgarden, he drove his number two, and let's get ready for the sponsors, Shell powering Progress Team Penske Chevrolet to the finish by 0.3417 seconds over the Arrow McLaren Chevrolet of Mr. O'Ward as they swap the lead multiple times over the closing laps, and I do believe there were 16, 16, yep, you heard it, one six different leaders. Newgarden, he started third, became the first repeat winner of what's been called the greatest spectacle in racing since Helio Castro Neves won in 2001-2002, and that was also for Team Penske. Now, Newgarden also delivered a record-extending 20th victory in the greatest spectacle of racing for his very own team, Team Penske. The victory delivered because he won back to back, I think $440,000 bonus. So six time NTT uh, series champion, Scott Dixon finished third, despite uh, I think he started as far back as 22nd in the uh, number nine PNC bank chip Ganassi Honda followed by Alexander Rossi in the number seven, Aaron McLaren. Reigning series champion Palau rounded out the top five, uh, finishing 10th. Uh, no, finishing, yeah, sorry, finishing fifth in the number 10 chip. Ganassi, I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in, but let's see, shall we? Um, let's look at the full results. I think that's as much as I'm going to zoom in, so I'm going to quickly do the sherry screen bits. Here we go. So... Joseph Newgarden wins, award second, third Scott Dixon, fourth Alexander Rossi, fifth Palau, sixth Scott McLaughlin, who looked like an absolute favourite um, until about halfway and he kind of faded. Carl Kirkwood, not too bad. Santino Fanucci, good. VK, not too bad. Connor Daly in the top ten. Callum Eiler, I think, doing an absolutely spectacular race for him. Um... Christian uh, Lundgaard, Takuma Sato, one-time winner. I think, oh, oh, two-time winner. Well, he, I know he won the 100th iteration, but finishing 14th. Graham Rahal, 15th. Um, Sting, Stingray Rob is 16th. Ed Carpenter, Ed Carpenter, 17th. Kyle Larson, 18th. Roman Grosjean, F1's former fireman, surviving at 19th. Hayley Castanovic, 20th. Um, Kiffin Simpson, 21st. And Augustin Campino, 22nd. And Colton Herter, did he even finish? No, he was 30 laps down in the end, wasn't he? Classified, yeah, 20, 20, 23rd. Will Power went out. I mean, he was one of the favourites and he went out. Um, 24th, Marco Andretti again. I mean, these are all the retirees now. Marco Andretti out, sadly, as well. Rosenquist, Felix out. Lundquist out, retired. The biggest, one of the heartbreaks for me, though, was... Uh, Catherine, Catherine Legg, not her fault. She'd done such an amazing job. Such an amazing job qualifying her car. And alas, it was it was not to be. I mean, she retired, I think, with 178 laps to go. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, she had trouble, I think, in the pit lane as well at one point. Marcus Armstrong, 30th. Tom Bloomquist, 31st. 
Pietro Fittipaldi and, and Marcus Ericsson. These, uh, with 200 laps to go on lap one, there was kind of like Monaco, a big crash where all three of them didn't do didn't do particularly well, if I'm honest. Um, so lead change summary. I mean, we. I mean, there was so many. Look at I me. Mean, look at all the lead changes. It's absolutely amazing. The leader summary. So who did lead? Well, we have uh, McLaughlin led, um, as you can see here. New Garden, uh, Stingray, Connor Daly, Oward, Dixon, Rossi, VK, Lundgaard, uh, Carl Larson, Edgar Pontier, Kiffin Simpson, Carl Kirkwood, Alex Palau, um, Santino Ferrucci. Callum Eilat, uh, Christian Ramusen, and Graham Rahal. Obviously, Scott McLaughlin led for 64 laps. Bear in mind, he didn't win. It's not too bad. It was Newgarden leading for the second most, 26. Pato Ward, the guy that nearly won, just leading for 12. Um, there were eight cautions, which is which is um, absolutely... I mean, it's, I think the record is 16, but still eight cautions. Most of them in the... I think the you know the first five in the first half of the race, and luckily I think from lap 154 we went all the way all the way to the end, and an absolutely epic last 20 laps once they'd 20 to 25 laps once they ended up all pitting. So I really enjoyed the Indy 500. This just was a really quick one rundown of the results and how we felt on this last lap decider. A massive congratulations, because it's really late in the day, it finished quite late. A massive congratulations for Joseph Newgarden. And he ran into the crowd, didn't he, when he won. It was absolutely fantastic. We will probably have more fallout for the Indy 500 so, uh, sometime this week. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. If you made it to the end, give us a like if you can. Give us a subscribe. That will be great. We will speak to you soon. Thank you.